Hi Saints, uh, technically good morning. It's Thursday, February 24 at 12.53 a.m. I'm starting the, I'm starting vlog number 19 at this time. Uh, I'm tired, um, but I have a lot of work to do. And the babies are up. Mia went to sleep today at 3 p.m., around 3, 3.30 p.m. 3, 3, 3, 3.30 p.m. And she woke up about 11.15, 11.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, Mia's going to be up for a while. And so I need to make sure that, you know, she's she's okay and, and, and so on and so forth. And Ivan is still awake, but Ivan's going to go to bed soon. Um, he slept, um, he woke up this morning and then he was hanging around with us. He was hanging out with us for a little bit and then he just crashed. And he slept for some time as well. So... Both the babies are up, um, and when I say babies, they are three and two, but, um, so they're both awake, and right now they're on their phones, uh, surfing through the nets, and on YouTube, watching kids' videos, of course, um, and I'm in my office, and I'm making some hot tea, um, I'm feeling a little down, you know, uh, I am, I'm feeling a little down, I'm starting to feel depressed again. Um, I go through these stages and these these stages of depression, but I know part of it is because I need to go visit my doctor. Um, and the gentleman that's supposed to fix our car, um, he's still not able to fix the car. So I'm going to have to start shopping for somebody new. My husband does not want me to do that for two reasons. Primarily is that um, the guy that did the car knows what's wrong with the car and he's, work he's been working on the car since we've gotten the car. And second of all, my husband doesn't want to spend um, more than than um, than what it's worth to fix the car. So, uh, so, and I get that. I get that. I don't want to spend a lot of money either um, um, with a mechanic that's going to give us a high, a really, really high price. So, and and uh, we it would probably and we might find a mechanic that may very well give us a great reasonable price. It's still worth looking into but I'm gonna back off a little bit let my husband take care of it I don't want to step over my husband's shoes you know so so uh, I, I think I'm gonna have to I think I'm gonna uber myself down to my um, to my doctor's office and and do my follow-up because I really do need it um, but anyways um, let me go see if the kettle has um, has my hot, hot water ready for my tea, so you can hear the little ones in there making their little noise and stuff. Um, oh, my cat Luna! So, <laughs> so my cat today, I I honestly thought she was under the bed, but so my neighbor around five o'clock knocked on the door and says, "Hey, cat, did you lose your cat?" And I'm like, "Uh, no, I think she's under our bed." Because she normally stays under my under our bed and just sleeps there all day long, um, and I'm like, no, I think she's under our bed. And my neighbor's like, no, cat, I, I think your cat is actually next door at my house. Now we got the cat from my neighbor because my neighbor, um, my neighbor likes to feed the neighborhood cats. It's not that he likes to feed the neighborhood cats; it's that um, my cat's mom um, ended up giving birth in his yard. <laughs> And so, um, you know, being a good neighbor that he is, you know, he fed them and took care of them. And then when Luna um, got to the age of, of skinning away from her mom, he was like, Cat, do you want a cat? And I was like, yes, I do. So he gave us Luna. He gave us two, actually. Um, there was Luna and, and another cat. And that cat only stayed in our house probably at 24 hours to 48 hours. And we had through the dryer vent. I had un unplugged. I had un I had removed the dryer vent, and there's a you know he went right through the hole. So when we tried to get her back, she bit me really really bad, and I said, "Oh no, let her go." And so we just let her go. So we only have Luna, and I really and I'm really happy about that. I really like Luna. I love her to death. She's a nice little cat. She loves Mia a lot, and she um, she's always around Mia. Her and Mia eat snacks together. She eats Mia snacks. <laughs> you 
Mia hangs out with her. And I think for children that have disabilities, I think that pets are a really, really great thing for them to have around them. So, you know. So, anyways, it's 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 nice. But I'm glad she's back home. I was when he told me that she was gone, I was like, oh no, I don't want her to be gone. So, um, maybe about 45 minutes ago I was like let me look outside and see if I see her and sure enough she was right in front of the door ready to come home for a minute she she had me chase her <laughs> but um but she came home and I'm happy and she, the first thing she did she started meowing meowing around the house looking around went to her food and then went right to Mia and Ivan and just did her little meow so I'm happy she's home and I think she's happy too she went for a little adventure to go see her old her old peeps <laughs> next door which was cool um, let me put this down let me just put my tea together I'll be right back I'm gonna put this down for a second all right so I got my tea got the hot water and putting the tea bag in here um, so I don't know why this is on my mind but I'm think I was just thinking of something if there are any single ladies out there there's a really good book you should read it's an old book but it's a good book and just because it's an old book doesn't mean it, it loses its value. But the name of the book is called He's Just Not That Into You. Um, if anybody is single out there and struggling with dating, pick up that book. That book will definitely um, show you and educate you on when a man really, really likes you and what to expect, what not to expect. And... It, 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 I mean, it's a really good book. It, it, it definitely, when you read one of the chapters, it all. It'll, I think if I don't, if I remember clearly, it starts with, "He's just not that into you because he's not. He's just not that into you because something like that." But it's a really good book. It was, um, I believe, it's the it's the gentleman that writes for Sex in the City, or he does some work for Sex in the City. I don't know to what degree he does the work for Sex in the City, but he does do work for Sex in the City, the, the show. And so he wrote the book. Um, and I believe inside the book he explains his his job duty or his affiliation with Sex in the City. So um, you'll be able to you'll be able to um, know a little bit more about the author. It's an old book. It's about over ten years old, but it's a great read and it's a good book and it's the honest truth. I think a lot of I think a lot of women are making mistakes. I think a lot of single women are making a lot of mistakes with dating. I think a lot of single women are are having sex with these men. I think a lot of single um, women are, are looking for money from these men. I think a lot of sing I just think there's a lot of things that single women are doing that you really shouldn't be doing. Um, number one, as a woman. Number two, as a woman um, who God created, and especially if you want to consider yourself a woman of God, um, there are a lot of things that you really shouldn't do. Um, um, while you're single I mean I think a lot of single women are making a lot of mistakes with with their own lives and within with with them with their own selves you know so all day today I kept thinking about the book and I'm like well, maybe I should share the book the name of the book with with um, my Saints on YouTube but the name of the book is called He's Just Not That Into You. It's a really great book. I can't think of the name of the author. I can go and Google it for you. Um, I'll put it in the description box. Um, I'm starting to like that description box a lot. You get to put a lot of um, wonderful things in there. I, I really, I'm really am liking it. Um... Alright, so let's go back to the office. Um, so, yeah, so pick up the book. But anyways, um, I have a lot to do. I need to do some writing, as I told you I needed to do. What did I do today? So, I did edit the vlog, and it wasn't much to edit, to be honest with you. I would think the, the vlog number 18 is about... If I'm not mistaken, 13 minutes long. It wasn't that long. It was a very short vlog, but I wanted to be current. I didn't want to be behind on vlogging at all. And I I, I just did I don't want to be there since I'm since I am catching up and I am current, I wanted to stay current. So 
um, whether whether that current means I give you a 10 minute vlog and I'll give you a 10 minute vlog and be consistent then not give you a vlog at all so happy about that um, I'm really tired I um I wish that I can go and sleep right now I really do because I already wake up early so the fact that it's already 1 104 in the morning I get up um, in the middle I get up I get up in the middle of the night already I get up at dog time I shouldn't say in the middle of the night but yeah I do I get up in the middle of the night already so not being able to rest for a little bit before I have to get up sometimes causes me sometimes causes me to um, to to be um, late on the things that I need to do do you know what I'm saying and I don't like that feeling I don't like to be behind on the things that I need to do um, I like to be able to get things done and get them done as quickly as possible um, but yeah so so not being able to just rest at a reasonable time and still being able to I mean I still I still get up at, at, at uh, the middle of the night crack of dawn I should say I still get up and the fact that I'm not going to sleep that means I have to work right through but then that makes me crash because I haven't had any rest and taking care of two little ones is a is 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 a lot of work no Luna no taking care of two little ones is a lot of work and it's more work when you're older you know I'm 44 years old so my energy level is not the same you know and I have I have my family I have I mean and, and I don't want to complain I don't want to sound like I'm complaining um, I don't want to sound like I'm complaining at all because I'm thankful for my little ones life wouldn't be wouldn't be the same without them um, but I, I'm trying to I'm trying to find um, balance that's what I'm trying to find I'm trying to find balance with having the little ones and having to wake up early to get to accomplish my goals and my tasks and then to be able to take care of my family there's a balance that's not there and I think that might be I think that might be what's causing some of my depression I don't think it's all the fact that I suffer from mental illness I think part of it is that is that I'm missing oh, my cat is playing with something I'm missing um, there's a, a missing balance a missing balance and I don't like the feeling I don't like it at all so I gotta push through and I don't know how to push through you know what I'm saying I have to push through and I don't know exactly I don't know just yet how to push through you know and I don't mean that I can't push through I'm not saying that I'm just saying like I don't know I don't know I again I don't if I if I knew how to explain it any other way I would be able to understand what I'm I wouldn't be able to understand how to push through but I don't know how to push through right now it says though I have to deal it's like I have to deal with it you know I gotta um, deal with with the way things are right now and just bear with bear with I gotta bear with the whole thing I'm dealing with it I have to give it time I should say You know, my cat is eating popcorn. She must have found, she did, she found a little popcorn. I was in my office, was it today? I think it was yesterday or today I was in my office eating some popcorn. And now she's eating the popcorn. And I thought, I didn't think there was any more popcorn. Oh, there is, I get to clean my floors. So, I mopped the floors. Um, but I didn't get to um, cleaning up the bathroom. I didn't get to um, wiping down the tub like I said I was going to do. I didn't get a chance to do that. Um, and then the more I looked at it, the more I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, you need a little cleanup. It's not dirty. It looks really good. But I don't know, maybe because we all took showers this evening and I realized that I'm not sure. But I looked at it and I'm like, okay, yeah, you need a little scrub, scrub, scrub a dub dub. Nothing bad. It's just a little wipe down. I, I, I like when the tub is completely, I like when the tub is so clean that you can see your face right through it. I, I, I want a clean, clean tub. 
And so tomorrow, I, I'm not tomorrow, but today, this, uh, this later on today, I need to clean my bedroom. I love cleaning my bedroom. And um, the little ones, um, I have this, this, um, this, this floor vase that my mom gave me with some, um, with some sticks in it for decorations. Mia has completely, no, Luna. Mia has completely taken out all those sticks and broken them up, broke them, broke them up and just play. And she was been playing with them. So, so I need to, um, I need to, I'm going to get some pompous tree, the really large ones, uh, the ones that are for the floor, not for a desk pompous, but for floor pompous. I'm going to get some pompous trees. Um, and I'm going to stick them in that vase. I think that would be better. Um, and I will not be letting Miss Mia play with any of, of my pompous tree when I when I order it for the, the floor vase. Um, no, 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 no. No more you destroying um, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, you know, having little ones, they make mess. They make spills. They make a lot of things. Oh my goodness. So Mia's learning a potty train, as you guys know. And she doesn't like her diaper. So she takes off her diaper at all times. So we're in the living room today. And um, I, I I looked down and I saw like pee on the floor. I'm like, oh my gosh, Mia, no. She, she when she when we put her on the on the on the toilet, she sits there for a moment and she holds the toilet pretty nicely. But um it's when she gets off the toilet, she does her peeing or her, does her business. And it's like, okay, we gotta, we may have to, I think I'm gonna need to keep her on the toilet a little longer. So she knows, no, you gotta pee here. You don't sit there to motivate yourself to pee someplace else. So um, we gotta keep teaching her. But I had to, thank goodness we have, a, I would say a pet and children and pet friendly home. Um, Although we don't have a couch just yet, but for the two chairs that are in the living room, um, the cushions are are um, removable and you can wash them. So um, I took care. I didn't wash them, but I I went ahead and 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 took care of. Uh, I cleaned it up. I cleaned up the pee, and so I'm going to take. I clean. I cleaned up the pee that was on the floor and all that good stuff. But I need to take the cushions. And I'm gonna bring them. I can do it in, in my in my washing machine, but it don't make too much noise. It don't shake things up. So I'm gonna take the cushions over to um, the laundromat and wash them. Thank you. Luckily, I had another set of cushions. So, um, but I'm gonna take them to the washing machine to wash them. Um, and that's it. And that's all I'm gonna do. Um, so. Get back on. Oh, sorry about that. You know my my camera has a 15 minute timer on there. So, like I was saying, is that um, I want to be able to create really really great video content. Really really great. I want my videos to look great. I want to be able to edit my videos really really well. I want them to look beautiful. I want to add some gospel music on there. I mean, I want to do a lot of nice things to them. But what I'm saying is, I don't want to lose the authentic authenticity. Of, of my vlogs. I, I want to be as real and as transparent as I can be. I don't want to have to do, I don't want to do videos and show all these glitz and fluff. And I don't want to show videos and show fluff. I want to be able to edit my videos and still add music and still add certain things. Um, and still add and still add beautiful um, music and beautiful details to my vlogs, but I don't want them to be fake. I I don't want to have to schedule to go on a trip just to do a vlog, just for content. I don't want that. I I and I'm and I'm not going to do that because number one, I don't like to travel. I've told you guys this already. I am not the traveling person. Let me turn off my. Um, and I I mentioned this before that I don't like to travel. I really don't. I have never liked to travel. And I have been to a few places um, in the United States, of course. I haven't traveled outside of the United States 
and I don't want to. I really don't. I, I, I have no interest to go to someone else's country. I have no interest to pack my bags and find, I, I, number one, I don't like packing my bags. I don't like to pack for trip. The times that I've gone on trips, they've all been business trips. I've gone to California for a business trip. I've gone to Wisconsin for a business trip. I've gone to Atlanta for a business trip. And I've gone a couple other places for a business trip. Um, but I, I don't like to travel. Even when I do go on those business trips, I'm like, when is it going to end? I want to go home. And the times that I've gone on these business trips, when I come back from them, my clothes <coughs> are just sitting there for weeks. I don't want to unpack. Like if I'm going to travel, I'd rather travel with the clothes I have on my back, get there, buy a couple of things and um, come back home. I don't want to pack. I do not want to unpack. Um, so what? that's what I don't want to do. I don't want to fluff anything that I do for my vlogs. I want to be raw and I want to be honest and I want to be um, real and I want to be who I am before I turned on the camera, you know? Um, and I think that's the reason, that, I think that's the purpose of vlogging is to not give you the fluff, but just be yourself and be real about your life and what you're doing and share the things that you want to share. And I think that we should be able to, sh I think that people should share the things that they want to share. And I'm sure they do. Not the things that they feel as though they need to share. So... I still want to have really nice vlogs. Don't get me wrong. I still want to have, I want to be able to do really nice thumbnails. That's one thing I'm learning to do is my thumbnails for my videos. I thought I had it down pack the other day. I'm like, oh, I get this. And I tried to do something. And one, it was one of my vlogs and I tried to add the thumbnail and it didn't look the way I wanted it to look. Um, so, so I, I think what I'm learning is that for the thumbnail, I need to get like one of those, um, those collage templates where you can add multiple different little pictures. And that's what I want to do. I want to get that app, wherever, whatever that app may be called. I know Instagram has one. I, know, I don't know if I can use the same one, but I need to find an app where I can create a collage and, and use and put different little, um, little snapshots of what's in the video um, for the thumbnail. Do you know what I'm saying? I hope I'm making sense. Because my thumbnails right now are just are just showing, um, it 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 just shows my face from one of the videos. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just it's not a thumbnail. It's just the video that is. It's just the video. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but you know what I mean. I just need to be better at doing thumbnails. I th that I don't think, but that is my next. Um, thing to do is to be good at doing thumbnails so for this video I'm going to try not try I'm going to um, look for the um, the app that I can create um, multiple little images um, in a collage and then and then use that as my thumbnail um, you know the videos whatever is going to be in the video use that as my thumbnail but I I'm going to I'm going to do that. I'm going to write myself a little note as well. I hear the little ones. Um what I don't want them to do is go into the bed our med, our bedroom and wake up their dad. He's tired. My husband's really tired. Um and he has to get up at what? 4 o'clock um to get ready for work. So I don't want them to bother their dad. I want him to be able to get as much rest as he can get. And he definitely needs the rest. He's a foreman, so he definitely uses his body uh, physically. He, you know, it's a physical job. So I know his bones are tired and he's tired. Um, yeah, so that's what I wanted to say about the video part of things. Um, that's pretty much it, Saints. I will pick up the camera again. In a little bit I'm really tired I wish I can go sleep because you see if I can sleep even if it's for an hour and a half to two hours before I have to get up um, it a lot it, it allows me to know that I, I got a little bit of rest you know what I'm saying when I can't do that and I have to and I have to work right through then it just 
it affects me, you know, not in a bad way, but it does affect me. Well, it does affect me um, physically because my body's tired, you know, my body's really tired. So, all right, saints, um, I think that's all. Um, we, 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 we need to do a Bible recap, I know, from yesterday's reading, and we will. We'll come full circle with it. Um, but just keep reading your words and keep fighting for it. Um, and you'll be good. You'll be good. You'll be good. You'll be good. All right, saints. I love you guys. Have a great, great day. Um, I will be back for more, um, for more vlog. Love you. Mwah. Kachava is the world's healthiest. Hi. Good morning, morning saints. Um, it's about 7.02 a.m. And um, I'm getting my... Well, I'm ready for Beagle. Giving you um, all your essentials. I'm watching my favorite one. show. You know, I love my favorite show uh, from Gona Lattice. The one that is out now is called Laja. You know, I love that show. Um, so... But anyhow, so I had a, a brief um, little meeting this morning with my agency owner for Beagle. And she was telling me that, once again, Beagle has changed their rules. Um, and once again, the quota that I was reaching for um, doesn't exist. And I'm close to that quota. But here's, here's the kicker about this, is that where I'm at currently with my quota, I'm happy they have a 30K quota, which is cool because, um, I mean, the 40K, I was working for it. I was close. Um, I was almost there. But it's a good thing because I've been working hard on Bigo and doing my Bible study um, for the past six months now. And I've never gotten, I've never met the quota. Um, the last time I thought I met the quota, they changed it the day I thought I was going to get my payout. So Bigo has made a lot of changes um, without letting me know, without letting people know right away. My agency owner finds out like the last minute um, so we her and I talked about that so she's going to find a way to to get the information much sooner to me and to um, and to communicate that with me much better um, she's going through a lot herself so um, I don't want to put too much pressure on anybody but at the same time too I need to make sure that you know that I'm doing my Bible I'm doing our Bible study but at the same time too that I'm meeting my quota so I can stay on Bigo. And also, I definitely would enjoy um, my payout because, you know, I am I am using this time. It's a work for me. And my husband's looking at me and saying, like, you've been on this app for six months and you haven't made a penny from this app just yet. Perhaps you need to quit this app, you know? And one, I don't quit because I'm still doing, it's the Bible study. It's God. And I, and I want to continue to worship God with other people. So... And the time that I'm worshiping God with other people is a time that I want to be able to worship God with other people. You know, that's one. And definitely God first. But at the same time, too, I do have a family to support. I have a family to take care of. And if the app requires that you get a certain amount of beans to, to be able to cash out on those beans, I also want to benefit um, in that aspect as well. You know, I don't want to leave anything on the table. And I don't want anyone to force me to leave anything on the table whether it be um god's words and me doing my bible study um whether it's me meeting up meeting my my b quota to get my payout i don't want to leave anything on the table i want it all so um she's gonna get um more information um for the new um quota payout sheet so i can see what i'm working with i have one new i have one usher right now and so, um, which is a good thing. So, yeah. So, anyways, I'm going to go watch my show. I got to get ready for Beagle. I will be back after Beagle. Love you guys. Love you, Saints. Hi, Saints. I'm back. It's about 3.58 p.m. And it's Thursday. It's still Thursday. So, since this morning, I would say since about 11. Yeah, I'd say 11. Um, I've been on business calls all day trying to get through business calls all day. I mean, I've been, I, I was, I've been, some have been really good, um, but some haven't been. 
Um, well, one hasn't been, and it's one of the most important ones right now. So, um, so anywho, um, so I, 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 I found this wonderful girl on YouTube. Her name is, I don't know her name is, but uh, I guess she's an interior designer. She's awesome. Ashley Kai Collections. Um, and she, she does home accessories really well. Um, I haven't seen her house tour or her house just yet, but as far as home accessories from what I've seen on her channel, she is amazing at putting together home accessories. She's, she's wonderful. She has this neutral, um, this neutral vibe and it's absolutely gorgeous and stunning. And she does this so well. I love it. But now I'm watching her organize the kitchen. But I didn't really see the kitchen that well. Um, so, I don't know. But anyways. Um, so yeah, so it's 4 o'clock now. Um, I've been a little down today. And I, and I don't know if I was down because I was on. I was waiting for a long time on that important call. Um, and nothing came of it. So, um, I don't know, that's what got me down, because once I got off of it, I felt better. So, my Walmart uh, deliveries um, came today, thank goodness, because uh, we ran out of toilet paper, we ran out of Fabuloso for the floor, um, we ran out of detergent, we ran out of Clorox, um, um, well, ran out of softener when it got here. I didn't want to load and I was like, that's the end of the softener. So I knew that would be the end of the softener. So, um, so we got reloads of everything and I got double of everything. So that way, um, not to say that I won't go to the market as, as often, because I will. I'll go for food though. Um, and I'll go for toilet paper, for toiletries, you know what I mean? But for the most part, we're good right now, which I'm happy about. So I get into a grocery shop and a big one. Um, I brought a few things, but I couldn't handle all of, I didn't want to handle all of that, all of those groceries in one day. The, 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 what I got today was already, um, was already a lot. So anyways, um, I don't want to complain. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining. I'm just, gonna, I'm just, I'm grateful. I'm very thankful. So I don't want to sound like I'm complaining at all. Um. Oh, so in this video, she's showing kitchen update and organization plus my new couch, restoration hardware cloud couch dupe. Okay, cool. I want to see and who's the dupe by. Restoration hardware is great, but I'm not spending that kind of money. No, thank you. Whether I have it or not, I'm not spending that kind of money. I'm going to the thrift store. Because the thrift store, I'll end up finding a, uh, a restoration uh, hardware cloud couch dupe. But I didn't find the real restoration hardware there. If I keep traveling around to different different restoration uh, different thrift stores, Goodwills, I'll end up finding one of the half a tap of humanity. So, but anyways, you know my first my first go to is the thrift store. It really is because everything's there. Um, and it doesn't mean everything works all the time the best. It doesn't mean that at all. Um, sometimes it works better than what you expect, and other times. It's not as great, but for the most part, you find great finds at the thrift store. You really do. So she's really, so I need some help with organizing my kitchen. So, so this is a really nice video for me. All right, I'm just checking on Mia, making sure she's okay. So I had to end Beagle early today. Um, Mia knows how to, oh, I think I told you, Mia knows how to open the door. And so... Uh, we need to get we need to get something much more secure to secure the door um, so I don't know how to explain them but I'll show you once my husband puts them up it's like an extra security thing um, I'll show it to you I'll show it to you um, when he when he puts that when he puts it up I'll show it to you um, when he puts it down I'll, I'll show it to you so So I had to. I, I ended it early because I still I still put in the Bible study readings. Everybody wanted to have the Bible study reading, which is awesome. So I did still put the Bible study reading, and so um, I wasn't in the room. 
I was with the little ones, and I had to be the little ones. I couldn't leave them. I came in for a quick second to do a prayer and to close out. I need to do my feet. I want to show you this product that I got from Amazon that's really good for your feet. Um, when I use it, my feet last at least a good two weeks, and I should do it more often than I than I do do it. Maybe this these, this dry feet problem will go away. I never had this dry feet problem back in Boston, but I moved to Florida and I started having this dry feet problem. And quite frankly, I do not like it. Um, it needs to be gone, literally. It needs to be gone. Oh, under her back, under her kitchen sink is completely clean. I don't know if she just cleaned it out to start organizing, but it's clean. It's it's nicely put together. I love that. It's so clean. I need to get mine like that. Mine is old and it's a painted piece so it's really dirty and I need to repaint it I need to clean it and repaint it but I'm gonna clean it with lots of Clorox and scrub it down really really good before I, I prefer before I paint it and I'm gonna seal it up and I think I might use a polyurethane I really do I think I'm gonna use a polyurethane on the on, on the um, inside the under the kitchen cabinet and, and you know what as I'm as I'm watching this video and seeing how nice and clean hers is, I'm like, yes, polyurethane. Oh, look at that, Leah's face is on the top of the commercial. She is so cute. It's basically where luxury Okay. All right, you guys, I also wanted to hop on uh, here uh, and talk about her couch is this nice. Let me show it couch to you. that finally has been delivered. It's and beautiful. Go over all the details. I've gotten so many questions about this couch, yes, you guys. Yes, please share, Mama. It truly is amazing. So. I have been looking for, like everyone else in the entire world, a cloud couch dupe because so everybody wants a cloud couch dupe. That kind of money everybody on the couch. wants to. And wants to, I've been looking um, high and low. Wants a cloud couch. I finally couch. came across a picture on the internet, supposedly Just of this. I believe it's Tanavi. It's not that important. Couch to me. from Ashley Furniture. Looked, 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 looked online, looked everywhere, couldn't find but it. But if I find it at the Happened first store, to be in for another a fraction with my of the cost, and we and saw an Ashley worth, Furniture, and, 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 and the stuff. comfort is worth the Told price this guy tag about the, the couch, store, looked around the store, bam, here it is, in the flesh. So, the great thing about this couch, but, I'm going to tell you um, all other than that, the great no. amazing things about this couch. For one, it is completely Even if you have the money, no, there's no need to spend it. Do you know what I'm saying? You don't need to spend it on expensive things. You got your children's children's children children's 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 children to look after. Where's Mia? She's going to sleep. You me going to bed, honey? Oh, the house is a mess. Let me show you really quickly. So I got some of the some of the clothes folded here. Um, got a light bulb for this now. Finally, um, it's a clear light bulb. Add a little light. Maybe when I'm sitting there, you guys can see me better. And I'm gonna put one of my um, I don't know what they're called. One of those standing light things. Um, but anyways, it's starting to look cuter day by day. Um, I changed the candles to these earwick candles. It'll give it look, but it also keep the house smelling really nice. So they were uh, a pack. They were a pack of two for like five dollars or something, or six dollars at Walmart. So get them and do that. Save some money. Um. Anyways. There's nothing really too much of a change in here. Oh, but this though, I did change. I just put a. I took the um, the table in my bedroom out um, and put that plant up there. And I'm gonna replace that area, my husband's area, with a plant. And I'm thinking maybe I don't have to do a really tall plant. I could probably do a nice size, shorter plant, but it allows my husband to still have space there to put up an acrylic shelf for his cologne and stuff. We'll figure that out. Okay. So, um, all right. So I, I don't know if I mentioned to you guys, but. 
Beagle made some new changes and, and stuff to the quota. If I didn't get a chance to talk about it in a previous recording, I will make sure to talk about it tomorrow. Um, perhaps by then I'll have more information I can just share with you guys. But I want to be on time, even though um, it's a short vlog. I want to be on time, and I want to um, go ahead and, and upload this video. That kind of money. I wanna and then edit it. after So you know, anyways, pray for me, I'll pray for you. I love you guys. I see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.